See, what Andre did to you, it could have stopped with him. <clears throat> but you liked the power too much. So all you did was emulate what Andre Harrell did to you. See, you were a victim. And then you became a victimizer. And that's what you chose. And that's because you know Clive Davis. And we all know he has lots of secrets. Clearly he trusts you. He stepped around Andre Harrell. And gave you the keys to the kingdom. Andre was in line. But then again. You know you had it in for Andre. Because Andre used to make you suck his dick. And Kim Porter had footage of it. So my full time job. Became managing Puff. And I was doing other things. So even, even when I let Puff go, for the whole time he was let go, he was always on payroll. Mm -hmm. I never stopped paying him until he found his next spot. She was in the bathroom, get high, talking about how she had you by the balls. And sure enough, two weeks later, she had that brand new Mercedes Benz that Andre Orell paid for. The drama never stops and the secrets never end in the entertainment world. And in today's episode of Secrets, the internet is buzzing with the news that Kim Porter, may she rest in peace, may have recorded some seriously saucy footage of Diddy and his late mentor, Andre Harrell, getting up to some steamy shenanigans. What could this mean for the music mogul's career? Some people are speculating that there might be more to Diddy's success than meets the eye. Could there be a connection between his allegedly secretive love life and his meteoric rise to fame? It's all just speculation for now, but one thing's for sure, this is one juicy scandal that's sure to have everyone talking. So grab your popcorn and get ready for some hot gossip, because we're about to spill all the tea on this explosive story. Let me put you up on game. When Kim was working at Uptown Records in the building that Uptown Records was housed in, Kim Porter actually retrieved the security footage from that build. And we're talking about all around coverage. She saw the two men's steamy encounters happen right in front of her in real time. Including footage of Diddy allegedly giving Andre some. And so this footage that Kim Porter had in her possession made her extremely dangerous. As we all know, Kim Porter had some explosive evidence that could have rocked Diddy's world. But how did she get her hands on it? Well, it all started with her plan to write a tell-all book that would reveal all the secrets of the entertainment industry. During her research, she met up with her old friend Andre Harrell to reminisce about the past. But as they chatted over lunch and dinner, some details came up that made Kim suspicious. So she decided to put Andre to the test and ask him about the rumors of his and Diddy's intimate relationship. And guess what? Andre fell right into her trap and denied everything, insisting that their relationship was strictly business. But Kim already knew the truth and had the evidence to prove it. No wonder she became useless to Diddy's success formula. She held the key to his secret. Now the question is, what will Kim do with this explosive information? Will she use it to get revenge or will she keep it a secret? Well, Kim's suspicions about Andre's reliability were only confirmed by this, prompting her to seek out the famed video footage for herself. The fans are spot on, too. Diddy was obsessed with Kim Porter. Aside from that, Kim knew all of Diddy's secrets. Most of all, the countless people Diddy has killed, and second, him being a full-blown gay man. Kim had cold hard proof, multiple videos of Diddy having sex with famous and non-famous men. Let's dive further, shall we? An anonymous source has spilled the tea on some disturbing allegations involving Diddy and minors. It's claimed that Kim Porter confronted Diddy after Usher was hospitalized for a mysterious behind injury. Apparently, Kim accused Diddy of sexually abusing the young musician. And that's not all, a certain James Rosemond, who's been accused of trafficking cocaine, has informed the U.S. authorities that Diddy has been engaging in inappropriate behavior with minors. Rosemond claims that Diddy has a history of such acts, with Usher among his alleged victims. According to Rosemond, Usher was only 15 years old when he was first brought to stay with Diddy by his mother, Jonetta Patton. To make matters worse, another insider, Keith D, has claimed that Diddy used to host some questionable gay parties to spice up his life. Who knows what other shocking details could be lurking behind these accusations. It's time to buckle up and see where this wild ride takes us. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not no gay bash or none. I mean, none of that shit, but that shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a wild ride back to the past and dig into Diddy's rumored shady dealings. It's no secret that Diddy has had a rocky relationship with the truth, so it's not far-fetched to think that Kim Porter had some dirt on him. In fact, some sources suggest that her discovery of his deceitful ways might have been what got her killed. Was Diddy so afraid of what she might reveal that he resorted to the unthinkable to protect his career? As if that's not enough, Diddy's former security has also come out with some bold accusations against him. According to Jean, Diddy brutally attacked Kim because he was terrified of the LGBT community finding out about his secret lifestyle. It's no secret that being a gay rapper in the black community can be tough, but does that justify violence and, potentially, murder? Well, you'll have to stay tuned to see how this all unfolds. 
This is definitely one wild ride that you don't want to miss. He, uh, he was with every chick, every dude, whoever he wanted to be with, you know, when Kim was alive. It seems that while the rapper was still with Kim Porter, he was also a chronic cheater. But Gene did not stop there. He was arguably one of the closest to Diddy at the time, and he continued by saying that Sean had intentionally used Diddy's ex-girlfriend's passing for publicity and by striking at the people's emotions. And then as soon as she did, you know, he used that as a tool to get to everybody's heart. Get this? Our sources have some juicy tidbits on Diddy. Apparently, he bought a 24 karat gold casket for his late ex, Kim Porter, a whole month before she passed away. Sounds like some intense planning, huh? But that's not all. According to Gene Deal, Diddy is a changed man from his days of abusing women. He's recovered and has put that violent behavior behind him. Gene spilled the tea that Diddy used to batter Missa Hilton, the mother of his child, because he suspected she was cheating on him. Yikes. But don't worry, Kim Porter was not going to let Diddy get away with any of that nonsense. Jean shared that when Diddy tried to attack her, Kim stood up for herself and even gave him a slice on the wrist that sent him to the hospital. Even when Diddy was accused of breaking, Kim's nose has been brought up by the fans. They have done a good job of scrubbing the story of Diddy breaking Kim Porter's nose on that yacht and flying that plastic surgeon in. I forget BS, but I don't forget stuff like that. It happened in like 2005. While she had worked with Andre for so long in the same field, Jaguar writes a step forward to share her own views on everything that went down. She seems to be more than convinced that Andre mistreated and even groomed Diddy. But that's not all. She also said that Diddy inherited Andre's sexual preferences. She then went on to claim that Clive Davis, who was Andre's mentor in this twisted, sexually abusive, and toxic network, was the original link in this connection. The music industry, largely known as a place where artists get chewed up and spit out like bubblegum. Clive Davis, the man behind the success of Whitney Houston, was no stranger to the art of torture to achieve his own goals. As an insider once spilled to People magazine, Whitney was a victim of Davis's oppressive reign. Houston had to do what he said, wear what he said to, sing what he wanted her to sing, and act like a goody two-shoes when she was really a down and dirty girl from Jersey. Whitney definitely resented that. It seems that Andre Harrell inherited Davis's wicked ways of manipulating artists and, like a virus, passed it on to the next generation. But Jaguar Wright appears unfazed by the collateral damage caused to budding musicians who fall prey to the harsh business practices of these music moguls. Oh, the melody of exploitation in the name of music. The simple fact that this man feels as though he gets to ruin lives with impunity. Mm. For a lot of people, it's a breath of fresh air that the truth is finally coming out in 2023, as many are hoping this will be the beginning of a massive cleanup in the entertainment industry. 2023 is set to be the year that the floodgates start to get opened, and those that doubted much of what has been implied or is allegedly implied become common knowledge in the likes of Yee, Orlando, and Jaguar have been stating for years becomes common knowledge. I never doubted any of what they were saying, nor did I think they were crazy. The entire industry that is showbiz needs a cleanup. Let's hope a level playing field is in sight and the high regard so many of us have for the legacy of many, including Kim Porter, is finally honored. However, it is important to note that Andre the Giant had fired Diddy from his record label because even he couldn't reign in the rap mogul. Diddy then went on to thank Harold at Clive Davis's pre grammys dinner in 2020 for everything he had done for him. I want to take the time to thank Andre for being a big brother, for believing in me. I call you my big brother. But tonight I've got to tell you the truth. I told you my father died when I was two and a half. Andre, you've been my father for like the last 30 years. For now, I'll wrap things up. We'll meet again at the next one. Goodbye.